So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to what will be my first actual rule breakers review of FIFA 21. I was going to do a couple of reviews the other night, but um, the servers went down and I just didn't get a chance. So uh, here is my first official rule breakers one. We're going to be talking about the 84 rated Anderson Taliska, who has been given some actually pretty nice boosts, especially in that pace department. This guy looks like he actually could be used as a cam or as a striker. So uh, maybe we'll try him out in both roles in this video. Before getting into things though, if you could leave a like rating on the vid, that would be very much appreciated. And in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this item. And also, if you're going to do the SBC or not. You need an 85 rated squad to uh, get this guy and a Brazilian player in there as well. And that's all you need to do. So it's going to come at around 60k, I think. We'll talk about value for money later on in the video once we've actually tried the card out. So uh, I'm going to complete the SBC and I'll see you in a sec once I've done that. So this is what we will be submitting to get this Anderson Taliska item. It's pretty much a near full Premier League side with Benzema and Pizzi to help with the ratings. So we're uh, happy with that. Let's go ahead and submit it. Obviously Thiago Silva is my Brazilian requirement. So here we go. I pressed submit twice there and now Taliska is making his way into the club. Oh wow. Look, this has all been updated. It's not laggy anymore. Finally, that's good to see. Um, hopefully, a dynamic image will be arriving for him at some point in the near future. But uh, I like the look of the card, to be honest. I think it looks quite good, especially for an 84 overall. Okay, so Anderson Taliska is now in the team. But before we actually look at that, let's have a look at the difference between this card and um, his non-inform. As you can see, he's been given a very big boost in the pace department. And uh, the thing that they've actually downgraded, interestingly, is the physicals. So uh, something to note there. But um, yeah, I'm liking the pace boost and I'm liking the dribbling boost as well. Although the dribbling ones aren't particularly too outstanding. They're just... A little minor boost but um yeah nice looking card nice looking card with four star four star so now we jump back onto the game and like i just touched on four star four star left footed and high low wear crits and he does indeed stand at six foot three in terms of play traits he's actually got quite a few outside the foot shot and finesse being the ones of note and um, for a chem style i am thinking we go with engine and um, that way we can uh, boost up that dribbling a little bit more because obviously he's quite a tall player. So I don't expect his dribbling to be too fantastic despite the stats and the menus have been a bit laggy. But eventually we will apply that engine chem style. So um, what is there to discuss? Well, first of all, nice shooting stats and um, good shot power of 86, nice long shots of 89. And uh, his passing attributes also look very, very solid. 86 short and 84 long passing. And um, dribbling, ball control of 87, agility of 90. And uh, in game, that dribbling, I'm hoping, actually does feel quite nice. Hopefully, he doesn't feel too heavy because of his height. It's also a bit of a shame he doesn't have better composure, but 80 definitely isn't bad. And uh, physically, despite having a bit of a downgrade, doesn't look that bad, to be honest. His physicals look okay to me. So, without further ado, let's get into some matches and let's test this card out. So, for Taliska's debut, we match up against a strongish Premier League side. He does have Tamori, who I think is absolutely fantastic in this game. And he's also got Jamie Vardy up top, who can be a bit of a handful. Tellez finds Taliska, who's going to come through this gap here and show his pace. He's then going to offload the ball to Alex Teixeira. Can't... Oh, he's moving his keeper. That's interesting. But we've seen that now, so we know he's going to be doing that a lot as uh, we get dispossessed by there by Laporta. Nice, interesting um, exchange there. Taliska and Paulinho combining to dispossess the opponent in a real strange manner. Oh, he's doing well, stay on your feet. Nice little ball roll, we like that. Oh, we like that a lot. Come on, there we go, 1 0. Taliska, oh, he's doing well. He's doing well to hold off his man there. Can we get back on the inside? We can. Oh, I just I missed time the through ball there. I should have gone a bit earlier, or maybe I could have pulled it back. Here we go. Here's a chance. I see that run. I see that run. That's a good ball. Can we get on the end of it? Yes, we can. And there's 2-0. Nice ball and a nice dink over the keeper by Gabriel Jesus. Twisker. Let's ping that up top. Get that to the wing of Lucas Moura, who does get on the end of this. Okay, well, halftime's come around. And, uh, yeah, we're 2-0 up. Pretty comfortable as well. Hopefully, in the second half, we can extend that lead. Here's a chance. Oh, I like it. First time ball. And Tashira is through. Cross goal shot, is it free? Yeah, oh wow. Okay, I um, was expecting that to fly into the back of the net, won't lie, but um, apparently not. Oh, the counter attack is in full flow, and Taliska is on the end of that counter attack too. We're going to go with the right foot finesse, and that's going to find the back of the net. Nice finish as well, and that's 3 0, and that surely now will be game over. 
think we're about to get full time, so you know what? Oh, I was about to crack that. I mean, it probably wouldn't have gone in, but I wanted to at least see what would have happened. But um, anyway, game has been won. Uh, Taliska pulling the strings in that camera roll. 3-0 victory, two goals and a assist for him. Pretty nice opening display. Well, our next outing looks a bit tougher than the first one. Um, very, very strong attack with Sané, Aubameyang and Pepe. Also Kai Havertz in behind. And a really, really nice defence as well, which features Longley, which I haven't come up against him too much this year, but when I have, he's been a, a bit of a pain to get past. He's he's quite good once again. Nice. Twisker, just showing his pace here just to get through. Ball's whipped into the box and... Um, well, that wasn't Taliska's goal, I can tell you that for sure. I think that was actually a long way own goal. The cross has been delivered at such pace, it's just pinged in off the defender into the back of the net. What a way to open the score. Yeah, it's just pinged him in the like, chest and face and, yeah, gone into the net. Bring us, bring us forward. I see the run from the winger, but he's marking that one. How about that ball, though? To Shearer, can he get to it? Yes, he can, but it's a good save from the keeper. Shearer, inside. Finds Taliska. Oh, the player shot out of line. Taliska. Oh, he's done so well to get round his man there. And that's a great goal. Everyone's on side, yeah? Good to see. Good to see. We got a bit fortunate with the balance of the ball there. But, um, yeah, Taliska showing really good balance to stay on his feet. Nice. Good run from Taliska as well. Getting in behind there. Up against Kimmich here. Does well to keep hold of the ball. Whips it in. And there's a chance for Tyson. But, sadly, blocked. Well, after the first 45, we have ourselves a one goal lead. As you can see, it's actually been a pretty close game, but um, yeah, I feel confident that we can get the win here. I'm considering moving to Whisker into striker, but for now, we're going to keep him at Cam because uh, he's just playing really well there. Finds Tuliska, who goes for the finesse. Oh, that wasn't a bad effort either. Oh, a great bit of play. Great bit of play. Tuliska, there's the equalizer in at the final five minutes. Good positioning there from the attacking mid, linking up well with the attack. And there is the full-time whistle. Unfortunately, the game ends in a 3-3 draw. And I won't lie, a bit annoyed about that. I feel like that game was a bit there for the taking. But ultimately, we yeah, couldn't get the job done. So, uh, yeah, a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Okay then, now we've had a couple of outings with this card, it's time to review performances and overall I think this is a pretty solid item to be honest. I liked using it and I thought it played very well in that attacking mid role and that's one thing that I like about this card is I think it's got good utility value. You could use it as a striker if you wanted to, I'd probably go over a different chem style if you were to do that but you definitely could play that role I feel. Um, I also think he could play a wide cam role, and even as a centre mid I feel like he could do a job. Wouldn't use him as a DM but um, as a centre mid even though his defensive stats aren't that great, he's got okay physical, so he can win uh, the odd challenge or two. But um, I definitely feel like Cam or centre forward is his best role. I like the pace in game. He felt like he did have you know that edge on some players just to get away from them, which was nice. And I was a big fan of his shooting too. He's got some very very powerful shots in his locker. Finishing is all right, but um, it's the power shots that you'll enjoy the most with this item, in my opinion. Uh, positionally, also very strong. You saw in the clips that he pops up in good areas. And he makes some really nice runs as well. And they were natural runs too, which was great. High low air crits, keeping forward and good positioning stats. Make sure that he's making uh, the right runs and getting into good areas. So uh, very happy with that side of his game. Um, his passing for the most part I thought was very solid. Um, I like the short pass and the link up play. And I think you saw that in the clips as well. And his through ball certainly weren't too bad either. So uh, another strong area for Taliska. And then um, the dribbling as a whole I thought was good. Is it amazing? No, but considering he is six foot tall and uh, no six foot three, sorry, um I think he controls the ball rather well for a tall player. And I like the fact that he's tall as well in that cam roll because he's a very good player to aim for uh, when taking set pieces. Very good uh, just to aim for when, you know, doing goal kicks or just booting the ball up the field when the ball is still in play. So, all in all, I do think this is a pretty nice item. I don't think it's, like, excellent, but um, I think it is um, a very um, a very good card, a, a very nice item. Um, but is it worth the cost? It's currently costing around 60 to 70 k which... I don't think it's terrible, but um, I also don't think that's a brilliant price for this card. I think like an 84 rated team would have been fair for him, but um, maybe I'm being a bit too picky there. Um, in terms of would I advise you guys to go out and get this card, um, I would if you're going to use it. Because I don't see any point in having a, t a card like this on the bench, to be honest. 
um, because I feel like you can just get better impact subs that are already available in the game. So if you get, if you feel like you're going to start with this guy, if you feel like you can get him into starting eleven, then probably is worth considering. But ultimately, if not, I just feel like it might be a bit of a waste of coins for some of you who just won't really get too much use out of him. Because like I've already said, there are better super subs available in the game for uh, the cam and striker roles. But I do like the fact that this is a goal scoring attacking mid. I always talk about it in my reviews when I do midfielders, I like cams that can score because my uh, route of scoring in champs is mainly through my cam and striker. So uh, I am a big fan of this card. Maybe that means I'm a bit biased towards it. Um, if you want more of a distributor, there are definitely better options in the game. But as a goal scorer, really do like this item. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 84 rated rule breaker. Anderson Taliska, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it in the comments. Let me know if you've got any questions. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.